quickly because I'm strong, but I'm gentle. I'm smart, but I'm learning. I'm loving, but I'm also hateful. I like to work because I like to eat, feed, clothe, and house myself. Me, you, and everybody else that I've been doing for the past years. So what if I'm a black woman? Come at me because I want pleasure, not pain. Sunshine, not rain. And I want, I want a man, not a child. So what if I'm a black woman? Is it a sin? Pray for me and pray for you too. If you don't like doing the color because we are midnight black, chestnut brown, honey brown, chocolate covered, cocoa dip, big lip, big breast, and all beauty at the same time. So what if I'm a black woman? Does it bother you that much that I want a man that wants me, who loves me, trusts me, and respects me, and gives me everything, and I give him everything back to us? So what if I'm a black woman? Okay. I got rights the same as you. I work for them, die for them, play. And lay for them. Say, you to the and so what if I'm a black woman? I love me, I want you to love me too. Um, I am as I'm always near you, close to you, besides you, strong, good, and loving. But over 300 years, you're a black woman. Love me. So, so what if I'm a black woman? All right. <laughs>
make her up. Well, sadly, they won't have a chance to. On September 15, 1963, four members of the United Clansmen of, United of America decided that they didn't deserve a chance to grow up or have a future. Eddie Ben Collins, Cynthia Wesley, Carol Robertson, and Denise Lumiere, ages 11 to 14, had their lives snatched away from them in the 16th Street Baptist Church. Please stand for a moment of silence as we remember from the book. Right. I'm a Cali boy, and I'm a kitchen actor. 
somewhere I read of the freedom of assembly. Somewhere I read of the freedom of speech. Somewhere I read of the freedom of press. Somewhere I read that the greatness of America is the right to protest far right. So just as I say we aren't going to let any dogs or water hoses turn us around, we aren't going to let any injunction turn us around. Now it doesn't matter now. It really doesn't matter what happens now. I left Atlanta this morning and as we got started on the plane, there were six of us. The pilot said over the public address system, we are sorry for the delay. But we have Dr. Martin Luther King on the plane. And to be sure that all of the bags were checked. And to be sure that nothing would be wrong on the plane, we had to check out everything carefully. And we've had the plane protected and guarded all night. And then I got into Memphis. And some began to say the threats. I talk about the threats that were out. Uh, what would happen to me from some of our sick white brothers? Well, I don't know what will happen now. We've got some difficult days ahead. But it really doesn't matter with me now, because I've been to the mountaintop. And I don't mind. Like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Longevity has its place. But I'm not concerned about that now. I just want to do God's will. And he's allowed me to go up to the mountain. And I've looked over. And I've seen the promised land. I may not get there with you. But I want you to know the night that we as a people will get to the promised land.